so I found out that Overcooked 2 is on Xbox Game Pass. And since I really enjoyed the first one, I thought, why not sit down and have a play? Well, there's extras. Whoa, look at all this DLC. Can't believe they're giving that to me for free. Tutorial. I don't need a tutorial. I'm the expert of Overcooked. I know every single thing. Well, now that just doesn't sound true. Um, this is a bit too spooky for me. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go to bed now. I mean, did I... Did, I don't think I really need to watch the story. Like, it's a game about cooking. Uh, what story do you need? It would be like if Cooking Mama had some, like, really huge lore to it that just got slowly introduced throughout the game. Oh no. The killer bread. This has happened to me too many times. There's some very Plants vs Zombies music playing at the moment. I think whoever Pop... Pop, pop Cap? Is that it? Yeah, I think they should send them a lawsuit. Unless they're not called Pop Cap, I don't remember. Okay, here we go. Let us take to chopping board. I know how to play the game, you don't need to tell me. Why is there like some spooky Halloween music playing? I'm not complaining, this is pretty cool. Also, who just orders lettuce on its own? Don't go to a restaurant and go, you know what? I fancy some lettuce today. There we go. I know. I, I worked out already. Like, surely you could tell that I've been doing that for a long time already. Okay, I've accidentally, I've accidentally pressed that. Clearly, I'm not the expert I thought I was. And there we go. Now we got to do a cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. Now we could really use a third set of hand in this kitchen. It's just like real life. The kitchen's always understaffed. I say that like I regularly work in restaurants. I don't. I've never worked in a restaurant. I was going to say I've never worked in my life, but I don't want people to think that lowly of me. I'm glad they're not making you wash up the plates. Yeah. That's always the worst thing in this game, when you have to quickly leave to wash up plates. Will you slow down? I'm not ready. We are lucky that we have this much lettuce, otherwise this restaurant would be screwed. I'm not sure zombie is actually like salad, but according to this game, they do- Oh my god! Now it's especially spooky. Spooky in double time. Spooky in double time is going to be the name of my new album, by the way. You may be my best chefs, but you have much to learn if you're going to kind of blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I know the story of this game. We're not good enough. we got to go. Well, I can interact with dog. I'm pressing the dog button. It's not doing anything. The game's bullshit. Wait, so I am supposed to... What? I'm pressing X. Do both of us have to go up? Is that it? What are you waiting for? Go. I'm trying to. It won't let me go anywhere. Oh, now it let me leave. For some reason it wouldn't before, but this time I can. Oh, hell yeah. This is fun music. I wish the tutorial had this. It wouldn't have put me off so much. It would have done a lot better. So this looks like a nice, calm place. I doubt there's going to be zombie bread or scary music here. Yeah, it's calm music here. I like it. Never mind, this isn't as calm. Why are they all staring at me? I don't like the pressure. For a second I was going to be like, Oh, what do you mean these plates? There are no plates. But I was just being a silly billy. I was just mistaking the, the fact that there were plates. This game obviously works a lot better if you've... Um, got a second player, but I don't because I have no friends, um, probably, actually no, I don't know why, I'm sure there is a good reason, maybe it's because they watched my videos and realised that I am terrible at 90% of video games despite the fact I constantly brag about being the greatest gamer in history. But you know what, yeah, just, if you're gonna make content on the internet, you've got to have some confidence, you know. 
Because if I come on and say, you know what? I'm actually really bad at Overcooked too. Everyone's going to click off. But if I come on and say, I am the greatest Overcooked 2 player in the world. People are going to be like, oh, really? we got to watch this now. And that is the trick to getting big on YouTube. Imagine someone who's never played this game before is going to be like, Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? But I'm fine. I've played this game. Well, I've played the first one a couple of times. Even this, I think I've played at least once. Look at that, I did it. I made the coin set on fire. I made the dog bounce and the onion dance. Which is, um... My favourite Velvet Underground lyric. Um, I'm not sure they should be standing there. It's like kind of... What, what are you doing? You're contaminating the workspace. You don't see me coming to where you work and pushing you. Leave me alone. Jesus. Sushi won. Of course, the rice was hot, but... Probably be easier if I went over to grab the plate and then to go over, but... You don't question me, I'm the Overcooked King. They created Overcooked to challenge me. Especially me. Like, no one else, it was just me they wanted to challenge. And I poo pooed them. I said, look at what I can do. And then I, um... Got kicked out of the Team 17 office and haven't been allowed back ever since. Okay, so we're not going to get, maybe get one more dumb. I guess we'll see. Yeah, if we got one more dumb, we probably could have got two more done. But I wasn't confident in my skills. And that's just how you lose in the world. If you're not confident, like I was saying earlier, if you're not confident enough in yourself, you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to fail at Overcook 2. And you're going to... Never find love or happiness in your life. Whoa. Isn't that Ainsley Harriet? <laughs> Surely he'd be like the final boss or something. Making some more sushi. Now we finally have dirty plates. Great. Can't put a shrimp on a plate because it's not chopped. Silly me. There we go. A lot better. You've got this. Just remember what Jesus used to say. Do it fast or don't do it at all. Um, I believe that was in the Bible, Le Leviticus number 10. So to the uninitiated, this game can be pretty difficult. But for me, look at me. I'm, I'm plowing through this. I only have four jobs to do that's that's nothing you know in a real restaurant you'd have way more to do at a time so got no plates they just gotta wait no good things happen to those who wait there you go we made one more thing before the time ran out the coins on fire we got four tips and there's someone swearing out a car there so you know it went perfectly as there we go free again I can emote. What can I say? Okay. Yeah, that pretty much sums up my reaction to that. There we go. Hidden level. Kevin 1. That's really what they should have called the first Home Alone film. Kevin 1. Because it sums up everything about that film. His name's Kevin. And it was the first film. Exactly. Like, it makes complete and utter sense. Right, what am I doing? Okay. Well, that doesn't help me. I'll give you one, and I'll... Cut it up. I know, that doesn't help me at all. I can't do anything. Now I can do something. What do you mean, need to play? I'm putting on a play, it's not doing anything. Like... Are you fucking kidding me? I have to do... Right, uh, I'll do it again, because I wasn't paying attention. You're telling me to put a stake in there, but I'm trying and it's not working. So do I have to put it in there and then put it in there? No. What the fuck? Okay, let's see. Do I have to put the whole stake in there? No. Well, what am I supposed to do? 
which makes no sense. No, I can't do that, that makes no sense. I definitely probably missed something, but at the same time, I have no clue. To be fair, they were just throwing things at me that they've not taught me yet, so I should probably come back to that when I'm a little bit more well versed on the new mechanics of the game. Dash, oh, I've been trying to dash for ages but I couldn't remember the button. I've just been pressing buttons like a fool, trying to get around. There we go, and now I'm just going to wash up. Because that's what you got to do at the end of the shift, you got to wash up, otherwise you are a scumbag and you don't deserve to have a job. There we go. Didn't fail at all. Got plenty out the door. Let's see what I got. Yes, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to swear this time, why not? Beautiful. It's a lot of effort, like why do I have to press that button, what does that do? Oh my god, I was flying for a second. Uh, so now I get to do Burgers in the Sky, which is also going to be the name of my new band. Why are they making this like it's the most epic thing in the world? The music's suddenly gotten so dr overly dramatic, like nothing's happening, I'm just cooking. Just cooking some potatoes and tomatoes. Not sure they really go together, but... Who am I to judge? Oh my god. Right, we're out of plates, so... Jesus Christ, that was suddenly super stressful. What did I do for that? I still got three stars! Yes! And... You know, I'm gonna just... Leave it at that. I proved my case that I'm the greatest Overcooked 2 player in the world. And I'm gonna... Give you a little wave. No, that should be a goodbye. Is there like a goodbye? Better luck next time. Oh my god. Okay, that's the, the what's happening. I think that's the end of the the game or the end of the video at least. I don't really know what's going on now. There we go. I can actually finally. You know, I'm gonna change my chef first. There we go. Oh no, it didn't do it. I lost her. I lost Doris. There we go. I am Doris.